everyone, my name is Lanzo90, and welcome back to the Let's Play uh, Game of Thrones mod for Mountain Blade Warband, Cache of Queens. So, yeah, I accidentally... Uh, I loaded back too far last time, but I did just play until I mostly catch up. I think we're like maybe level 9 instead of uh, level 8. But I have a little bit more troops, I think, in my army. Um, I already got rid of Ladia or whatever her name was in this game. And won some, uh, a bunch of uh, arena matches to catch up on our gold. I didn't encounter as many fights along the way. Um, weapons and armor. Yeah, I don't think I encountered any fights, actually. I just totally went off of uh, arena battles. I have to balance military fort back, shield, uh, I got this thick heavy leather jerkin. I didn't find the heavy leather jerkin like I did in the last game, which we got from a fight. Um, I believe I did go to, St to Stonebridge Inn, but Clark Keep doesn't have anything, so we'll be going to where we were going before we uh, got interrupted to Lord Harrowway's town. To keep our hand ready to press the space bar before a fight. Prepare a little better. Although mo mostly everyone's leveled up except the Dornish Spearmen. And Stormlands men at arms. But I don't want to pay them more quite. Oh my god. Alright. We'll level them up now. I'm, not, I'm, not gonna, I'm just going to try to avoid this fight though. But, uh, I'm gonna have to go back and do another arena battle though, because I'm not gonna have enough to pay anyone. Yeah, because we haven't gotten any fights in this one. I don't know if I want to do an arena fight or, or if I want to. Uh, we can just get to Lord Haraway's town. I think there's quite a bit of money of loot waiting for us there. I wasn't expecting such a big group of outlaws running around. thing is even going back and doing some arena fights that doesn't make any time pass I don't think so if they're not gonna go away it'll just get me more money to uh, to pay my men with so that's what we're gonna have to do is we're just gonna have to get more men and level up our men if they're just gonna block the road like they're doing the good news is we got pretty good gear for arena fights now. Really good armor. Good weapon, good shield. So this can be repetitive and you do have to beat everyone for it to really be worth it. Just cause like... The full payout is uh, twice as much as the next highest payout level, so... I'm expecting someone right behind me there. Doesn't seem like he has his shield up. Standing on the spawn point, that's what's going on. But I have to say, how are they sneaking up on me so easy? But you can tell how much our how much our armor is helping us here. We've taken no damage even though I got hit several times. How much our damage is too good. It's 
21% speed bonus too. better with aiming for the head a little bit too. Just keeping my cursor up higher. I think there is headshot damage. When they have a helmet like that, you don't want to do it. So you get quite a bit of experience for winning the complete battle. I think it's 200. Kind of what I was worried about. One of the fights I had off camera it was down to like the last five guys that were left. And they all teamed up on me. Made it through the entire fight, but then they all teamed up on it. So these two here are about to be too. that we bought is quite a bit better than the arena shield. It should make it through these last four guys. If I'm wrong, then I'm wrong. Right, let's kill one of these guys before they can team up. Alright, last guy. We did it. Much, much easier. I think we'll maybe crawl along the coast here to just try to avoid these bandits. Unless they're gone. the town that I can buy stuff at. No, it's just another castle. I wish it would tell you the difference between freaking castles and towns on the map. Some chicken. I could really go for killing some uh, killing some looters. Lord Harrowby's town. This place has some pretty good loot. I know from playing my John Cena character. There might even be 
more than I checked. Like, oops. What? That was weird. I pressed K and that came up. Like, I don't think I saw this before. The wooden building appears to be a butcher's shop. There's no sign of the butcher, but a few slabs of dry meat are hanging from a primitive rafter outside the shop. Perhaps to show customers his wares. You seem to want to use them not to claim as your own, but as you get closer, you notice the meat is crawling with maggots. Great, just great. This town is like flooded. Let's appear to the left in a hurry, and the streets are filled with various. Produce, most of it spoiled. Chest, but it doesn't seem like we can interact with it. There is a chest we can interact somewhere around here. That looks like a thing. But... Just for appearance sake, I guess. I know it's funny, as when I was here with uh, John Cena, he didn't have a horse. Gonna have gone into this really deep water back here. There's probably something at the dock. I don't want to just randomly drown here, that'd be kind of bad. I don't know if our horse is smart enough to not jump off ledges that are too deep for him. Seemed like you didn't really want to go over there. trying to balance my audio by the way like I didn't notice at the first few episodes that like the uh, audio was like cutting out and that was because the noise gate wasn't good enough it's a little bit tricky with this new microphone because it sort of has its own built-in noise gate I think there's a gain thing I can adjust that if you turn it up it like reduces how often it hears noises so I think I had it doubled up and that was causing issues, so I got rid of it, and then the newer episodes, it was like, not very good quality. And I'm not exactly sure what caused that, but what I've done now is I've, uh, just brought it a lot closer to me, hoping that'll do the trick. It really needs to be, like, mounted overhead, but that's, uh, that'd be a little bit hard to pull off because I can't put the microphone directly in front of me because there's a desk directly in front of me. Alright, this will have to do, I think. But I was also noticing that my audio, my voice audio was like single directional. And I thought it was just making the mic records monodirectional. But I think it's just because the, the microphone was way over to my left. So now that it's a lot closer to me, maybe it'll, uh, Alright. Can't remember what all was here. There was there was stuff here, but Chest that is half hidden in the grass covering most of the area. That's more 
dank loot, which we'll need. I'm not doing the best on money right now. And appears abandoned. All the doors are locked and the place is eerily silent. Leveled up though. I do sort of want to start pushing towards 16 strength so I could wear plate armor at some point. But we'll go with another point of agility. We might leave it there. And then. What next? Looting, foraging. A little bit more pathfinding might be a good idea. Yeah, I don't think we'll go up anymore on our agility. Leave that out for now. Probably want to get charisma up to 9 too at some point, but I'm not sure how critical it is. Party size limit. But I want. Otherwise it's just skills, so I'd rather focus on strength and intelligence. I'll have a pull arm now, so we'll want to get better at that. I'm doing pretty good with one handed weapons as a saw. I don't think we're done with this village yet, we just haven't to level up. So keep on moving. Nine extreme across the upper stairs, a plethora of broken bottles, shards of glass, a smell of faint whiff of pears, and the glowing sweet smell of a pint liquor. I like our shield, by the way. I didn't. I noticed it before, but I don't think I said anything that I'd put our emblem on the shield. I think when I was playing John Cena, I didn't notice that because uh, he didn't have a symbol because he was a commoner. Crossroads Inn. What the fuck is up with all these outlaws? Understand. Is there anywhere else we could possibly sell that's a little bit closer? Karen Hall is not a trading post. It doesn't tell you where you can sell stuff at. Forces of Westerlands have taken the castle of Riverrun. The conquest of the castle has caused disunity among the river lords. Along with the phrase of the crossing, have renounced their allegiance to the renounced their allegiance to Rob Stark, turning their cloaks and joining Tywin Lannister. That didn't happen to my other game. The other game is ahead of this in time, so it's kind of interesting to see stuff go out of uh, out of pace. At least we can sell stuff here. Whole lot. They don't seem to be particularly rich. Could possibly just spend it all to get a better horse, but I'm not sure how critical that is. Our horse seems pretty fine. Don't get. I don't think there's even very good horses here. Yeah, I guess it does just go from leather to, or heavy leather to, uh, chainmail. It's interesting, though. It looks like standard leather doesn't have a strength requirement. It's kind of strange how they make their decisions on what's, what's heavy armor and what's not. new equipment just to get two extra points of armor. Tempered armor. That sword looks as a different icon, so I wonder if it's bigger. 
Within reach of 103. Ooh. Three is pretty good. I do have a pike now, so it's not quite as important as it used to be, but it's not a pike, it's a military fork. The heavy spear is kind of what I want. Well, apparently this military fork actually has more reach, but Sword seems so nice though. I don't even know if I can afford it though. Yeah, I'd have to pay quite a bit. I think we maybe just buy the heavy spear. If we could get a good sword, either a bastard sword. Wield it in one hand. It's a really long regular sword. And maybe I could replace my spear weapon and get a bow out. That will help us quite a bit in fights. Oh, we still have bags of salt, too. I made the wrong decision there. I didn't realize I had more stuff to sell. Uh, buy some fine bread to replace our regular bread. Unfortunately, I think we're just going to have to hire more people. So it's like really a tiny little piece of uh, the name's not like Targaryen land. Dragonstone levies. Yeah. Is this the case in the books? Is there like a little bit of Targaryen territory left? Like, I know Dragonstone was for a little bit, but I thought, uh, they got driven out, and that was kind of what happened in the first episode of why Daenerys and Viserys went to Essos. I didn't know there was anything on the mainland. This game's usually paying attention to stuff like that, so it'd be a little strange. Or to have just added this so you could become a Targaryen. But it could be the case. Oh. Fuck. I just kind of want them to run out of arrows. Town, I just instinctively talk, click the top action to try to hire more soldiers, but we beat them, so it doesn't really matter that much. Bands fall before you like weak to a side. Soon you stand alone in the streets while most of your attackers lie unconscious, dead, or dying. Searching the bodies, you find a purse which must have belonged to the previous victim of these roots. Perhaps they've given to them, but something we wanted to arrange a suitable ending to your life. a shame. Yeah, well, 
how big was that outlaw army? It was like 80 people. Which is, uh... Probably a bit more than what I have. Party size? Oh, I am. Company size didn't seem to be determined by... That said party size, not company size. Uh. Veteran. I won't go past that, though, for now. Well, this is the best we can do. You made a lonely septum at the room, and as you pass him, you stumble and accidentally push him off the track. You decide to apologize to him. Gain 25 morale, lose 5 renown. Your men approve, no one should offend the gods. Okay. Party size, is it leadership then? Yes, leadership is what I got put in. Only bring it up one more point too before I have to. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! How were you able to go through this town? At this castle. Into the veil. I don't think there's any raiders in the veil. I don't think I necessarily have to stop at the gate. I just had to. I just clicked it to get here. Can you even get to the Eerie in this path? It looks like they left like a, a very hard <laughs> cliff to climb there. Which makes sense. We need to get to the mine stars, though. Can't hire any more peasants. Four days of food left. Uh, it's a long way there with no bridges across that river. Go to the old cave. No. Probably some quest that goes there. I'm not stopping in every single town to see if there's a uh, specific quest. Start doing that now. <laughs> you arrive at Nine Stars, the seat of House Templeton. The surrounding area is very fertile. Great shaggy sheep grazing the fields and farmhands being busy bringing the harvest. To the north of the castle is a forest that spans many leagues, and to the south is fertile valleys filled with fruit orchards and grazing fields for cows. That'll be it for this episode, though. Uh, we'll go inside nine stars in the next one. I hope you all enjoyed, and have a good day.